Hey folks, everything new under the sun. We're going to take a look at uh, Stephen Hawking and his prediction of the Earth will be destroyed with fire around the year 2600. What does the Bible say about that? So this is a Azure Hedge article. Stephen Hawking, Hawking Earth will become a flaming ball of fire by 2600 and uh, the year 2600 and from one point of view yeah he's correct by you know which means before 2600 or uh, including 2600 sometime before or including it will become a flaming ball of fire physicist and professor Stephen Hawking has warned that the earth will become a flaming ball of fire by 2600 he also warns that if humans want to avoid permanent extinction we should be making plans to evacuate the earth and uh, there will be an evacuation it's called the rapture event in the event in the bible hawking claims that mankind will destroy the earth making it a fireball within the next 600 years uh well no man is not going to destroy the earth um the bible actually tells us what's going to happen to the earth the renowned physicist believes soaring population sizes and consequential increase in demands for energy and food would lead to a catastrophe hawking also says that humanity should begin looking for uh looking to the stars to avoid this fate well we shouldn't be looking to the stars we should be looking to jesus and i'm going to show you where in the bible it tells uh, us uh, how the earth will end second peter 3 so this is a uh, biblehub.com second peter 3 uh where are we where are we here second peter 3 starting in verse 10 speaking of the day of the lord but the day of the lord will come <clears throat> as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. This is when God basically cleans up the earth. Uh, it melts with fervent heat. Um, this is in the end times, the, the times that are to come. God destroyed the earth with water first in the flood of Noah. He will destroy it a second time to deal with the sin on the earth, which is coming shortly, I think. Um, by fire and um, uh, the the great escape uh, the people who are going to escape this extinction level event caused um, uh, uh, by God brought on by God because of the evil and sin in the earth is going to be the rapture and it can't possibly be as far as 2600 because that would put us well beyond the 6,000 year timeline of man on earth man's been on earth about 6,000 years at this point it's about if you correct the Gregorian to be based off the death of Jesus Christ, we are at about the year 1986 or so. We have a few years left before the seven-year tribulation. The seven-year tribulation is uh, what happens just before um, the return of the Lord, the, the second coming, where God finally deals with uh, the people um, during the during the seven-year tribulation. <clears throat> and the rapture event likely happens before that if you're a preacher of rapture believer. And uh, so where does that put us? That puts the rapture in about five years from now. I would I would put six years from now. I suspect that the return of the Lord is probably 2028, somewhere around there, plus or minus a couple of years um, because of inaccuracy, etc. We don't know absolutely exactly. And I think uh, the uh, events on earth are ramping up. The birth pains, the, the trouble, the violence, the evil, the wars, the rumors of wars. I think these are ramping up. We have about four, five maybe six years uh, before the start of the seven-year tribulation and i think things are coming hot and heavy i think things are coming fast now and uh, the bible this is what the bible says is going to happen so stephen hawking's partially right yes the earth will be burned up with fire that's how it will uh be destroyed and cleaned cleansed um uh that's that's how it's going to end up that's that's what the bible says and uh, he destroyed it once with water and the second time with fire and also it will be an extinction level event and there will be an escaping of people but that's going to be the people who have faith in jesus christ so i hope you have faith in jesus christ he died about two thousand years ago for my sin and your sin and he's coming again soon and he's going to judge the world uh, but we can ex escape this extinction level event um through the rapture and uh, God's going to God's gonna take us out before it gets bad. There's probably going to be a lot of persecution for the Christian. Um, but uh, he will uh, take us out. We are not destined for the wrath of God. Absolutely. 
So uh, Stephen Hawking's almost right. He needs, needs to read his Bible, and then he would uh, have the exact answer for what's coming. And it's not that far out, not as far out as he thinks. So I'll leave there, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what you think uh, about Stephen Hawking and his prediction. I would put my place my faith in the Bible.